Well, here we are back in the laboratory. I'm going to show you a piece of software that I spent a great number of years looking for. I'm not kidding. I've looked for this for at least three years. And here it is. Microsoft Bob. Microsoft Bob was on the list of the ten worst pieces of software ever created and is by far the worst thing I think I've ever seen come out of Microsoft. And um, I just finished installing it and playing around with it in my uh, Toshiba satellite. What is this? The 105CS. It is a Pentium 90 with 8 megs of RAM running Windows 95. And, um, well, I'm just I'm going to go ahead and show you this awful piece of software and why it sucks. And uh, let's go ahead and have a go. Now, I've went through the install process and the setup process already, creating a name and account. And it, adds, it actually does ask you an incredible amount of information, uh, such as your name, your address, your birthday. Not for registration purposes, just so you can use the program. You know what's really funny? The facial recognition feature on my camera recognized the smiley face as a face. Anyway. Um, this was obviously shipped with the Gateway 2000 originally. Um, like all software uh, from the big name vendors, um, any computer company can purchase the software and have it customized to their liking. So there's a few references to Gateway in this version. And this is also the first introduction of the Microsoft Dog, which I believe his name is Rover. And uh, you'll find this little little guy in, uh, in the office applications and in the Windows help menus. In fact, I think up until recently. It's a lot, a lot of animation, a lot of unnecessary confirmation dialogue, just like Windows uh, Vista and Windows 7. It has you confirm just about every time you click on anything, you have to confirm or click on something else to start that. It's really stupid, but they obviously didn't learn their lesson. So I'm going to select my name, enter my password. And uh, let's take a look. Um, a lot of the guys on YouTube are running this program in DOSBox and in emulators. Very few people are actually running it on a machine that would actually ship with the program originally. This machine was manufactured in 1995, the year Bob came out. So it's very plausible that there could have been Microsoft Bob in here from the factory, but obviously there wasn't. Right now, I'm, I, I remembered where I was in my last session. And um, I'm in the, the mouse house, <laughs> the mouse room, uh, hence the, the mouse hole. So I'm going to go to another room, click on a door. Okay, go to previous room. This is going to bring me to the, um, to the main room, public family room. There we go. It divides your experience up into different rooms for different um, applications. Think of it as being in different folders. Uh, we're now in the root directory or the root folder of Bob, which has all of our main applications and functions. We have a financial planner, a checkbook, Geo Safari right next to the fireplace, which is ironic because the real Geo Safari game console is flammable. So there could be some bad lessons taught to children. Uh, we have a calendar, we have a dog who continuously shows up with uh, comments about your experience and gives you suggestions. Um, what's this? I actually don't know what this is. Bob Household Manager. Oh, I'll play with that for a little bit. I haven't, I haven't tried this one yet. There's something about running this old software on actual vintage equipment. Um, I'm well aware that I could run a lot of this junk on um, on my modern hardware like this Mac here, 
using emulators, but it just doesn't give you the same experience. Um, as a side note, the Microsoft Home was a family of products designed for home use. Um, I, of those, I know of a few. Um, a lot of their games from this time period, of course, Bob, Microsoft Wine, and there were a few, like a recipe program you can, you can buy that was also sold under the Microsoft Home brand name. Um, this is just telling me, let's see, turn off. Okay. You can da, 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 print a little bit more turn off. Let's turn that off. Okay. Come on. Okay. Let's see what this does. Let's see. Auto information. What does that tell me? I think this is actually like a household manager. Um, you can put your maintenance records, your mileage logs. Mileage record. Pretty cool. Emergency items. Maintenance records. Let's see what this tells me. Build a new list, rename, remove, change, about and household pop manager. Okay, so I'm going to try this here. Oh, so it just allows me to make a list of things to put in my car in an emergency. In fact, it gives you suggestions. Do you ever drive in snow? Of course I do. I live in New England. So it gives you a tailored list of what to keep in your car at all times. Um, what shall we do next, partner? Oh my god. Let's just do nothing. Can we do that? Can we just, can I just look at the list? Keep an extra fan belt, fire extinguisher, first aid kit, road flares, coins, da, 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 da. a cat box? What if you're not traveling with a cat? Anyway. Um, okay, we're just going to go out of that right now. No, I don't want to exit. I just want to... Then I, I can say instantly right now firsthand that the navigation sucks um, it really does suck just moving through the program is kludgy at best oh, here we go that's how I get back to the main one mileage record press the tab key to jump forward oh I see that actually I could I would actually have a use for that um, not that I would ever use this version but all right, let's get out of the household manager. I'm going to show you the built-in Geo Safari program, which is kind of cool. Um, Geo Safari was a like a computerized flip chart style um, geography teaching tool. Um, I know I used to play with this program or the the actual game itself when I was in middle school. And uh, there were d several different versions of Geo Safari, but this appears to be the computerized version included in Bob. Microsoft did not actually create the Geo Safari, but they somehow gained the rights to put this in Bob, which is kind of cool. And it's actually a very useful teaching tool. Um, it has built in uh, geography related quizzes and drills and stuff. Um, Let's see, let's try the animal predator pal or what. Of course, it asks you your name every time you do anything. To order the complete Geo Safari Animals Pack, here's the phone number you can call. Begin the quiz, please. I'm going to get this wrong. I don't know what it'll ask me, but uh, it's showing me a movie. So a shark eating a fish, predator and prey. Oh, here we go. This is stupid. I'm gonna. We're running out of time, so I can't really show you the whole thing. But you get the idea. Come on, get me out of there. Okay. Brings me back home. Of course, here's a clock. If you didn't notice, it's really tiny. Let's see if I can change it. Change clock. Resize. Oh yes, I can. I can resize it. So I'm going to make the clock bigger. There we go. There we go. Now we'll make it a little smaller. Okay. Pretty cool. 
Clicking on the fire doesn't do anything. Maybe I can make it bigger. Oh crap, the whole freaking house is on fire. Oh my god, get out! So I just set the whole house on fire. Nice. Well, it's nice and warm though. I like that. There's a built-in writing tool as well. Bob Letter Writer. Let's see how many millions of questions it can ask me this time while my house is burning. Oh god. This is going to be cheesy. It helps me with all aspects of lighter writing, from making personalized stationery to printing mailing labels. Oh boy. Create a new letter, please. I need a name for the letter. Let's call it letter. There we go. Onward. And what kind of letter do I want to write? A complaint letter. That works. All right. Look at this. <laughs> yes, sirree. <laughs> oh boy. This takes, I mean, I, I, I can't emphasize how cheesy this program is and how awful. I mean, I've clicked 400 buttons and I can't write my goddamn letter yet. Jesus. Please pick address. I don't have an address for the letter, okay? Just let me write the damn letter. Can you guess what it'll be about? Hmm. Type here. It tells me where to type. And Oh, wait, I have to erase all this, too? Oh, my God. Okay, here we go. Dear Microsoft... Microsoft Bob sucks. The end. There we go. There's my damn letter. All right, now we're going to go back to the house that's on fire. I'm going to show you the different rooms that it allows you to go into. Um, I was just in the mouse hole, as you saw, and uh, we, to get to the other rooms, we click on the door, go to another room. Let's check out, yeah, public mouse hole. <laughs> Let's try the public safe. A vault for keeping financial matters and other special things. Okay, there's a lava lamp, a checkbook, a bag of weed, and a clock. Okay, I'm just kidding about the bag of weed, but there is a clock in here. Who keeps a clock in their safe? Ugh. So let's go to a different room. How do we do that? I click on this arrow here. Go to another room. Let's try the public... I was just in the public study, wasn't I? Let's try the public study. Let's see what that, see what's in there. Why is there a lava lamp in the safe? Microsoft, come on. Okay, this is a grandfather clock. A flower bay face. Flower vase. And um, that's about it. So I've got to say, I, I'm, I'm with the critics on this one. This program is not only... I mean, it is somewhat useful. But... The implica the the way it was executed is just, eh, just a, a bad interface, too cartoonish, too many colors, too many, too much graphical stuff. I don't know. It it just, no wonder it was a horrendous uh, failure. But I'm glad I had the opportunity to finally try it out and see for myself just how bad it really is. And I hope you get a chance too. And I'll post the address of where I found this download, so you can try it yourself. To get it on this machine, I copied it to a CD from my Mac, which I then used to copy onto this 110 meg flash disk. 
to get it onto the under the laptop. So there we go.